in last class we are starting about closed loop control system so as we discussed closed loop control system are the system which will have feedback provision in them so we have feedback which will apply to the system and we have also discussed that feedback is the property of a system by which it permits the output to be compared with reference input to generate error signal based on which appropriate controlling action can be decided so when we are talking about closed loop control system the part of the output signal which is feedback signal bt is feed back to the input reference it is then compared with reference input giving error signal that is et equal to rt plus minus bt et is your error signal rt is your reference input and bt is your feedback signal so when we are talking about closed loop control system et is the main component which we use et is your error signal rt is your reference input and bt will be your feedback signal and then on the basis of this as we discussed in the last class this is your et error signal which is generated in the system this is your bt and this is your rt so we have this feedback comparison comparator which will compare it can be positive comparator or it can be negative comparator depending on the circuit so then it will be et that will produce on the basis of controller the actuating signal which will be supplied to the plant and then we will be getting a output so this is the basic philosophy of a feedback control system the this error signal et is then modified by the controller and decide proportional manipulated signal for the process to be controlled so this error signal is applied to the controller and which will generate a proportional manipulated signal which is applied in the plant or process and we get the output and this manipulated signal 
this manipulation is such that the error will become zero so this is the basic functioning of a closed loop control system so in closed loop control system we will be using a feedback which will be compared with the reference input and on the basis of reference input and the feedback signal we generate a error signal the controller will convert this error signal into the manipulated signal which will be feed to the plant for getting the output and this manipulated signal will be such that it will minimize the error to zero so this is the basic functioning of a closed loop control system so when we are talking about closed loop control system we have many advantages the first advantage is because we have feedback system this is a accurate system because we are having feedback in the system and this accuracy will maintain even if we have non linear components or disturbance because due to that non linearity the changes which are occurring in the system will be manipulated by so the system will be accurate even after we have a non linear components and disturbances so it will be very less affected by the noise it does not have any effect when we are using this system with noise so if the system has noise then the closed loop control system does not have any effect then we have sensitivity of the system maybe made system small to make the system stable so because of the feedback provision we can have sensitivity of the system to be small so we can have less accurate system can also be used in this system then we have some disadvantage सबसे बड़ा तो डिसएडवांटेज बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग ए फीडबैक सिस्टम सो व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग फीडबैक सिस्टम वी रिक्वायर सम एडिशनल कंपोनेंट्स तो इट विल बिकम कॉम्प्लेक्स सिस्टम एंड कॉस्टली बिकॉज ऑफ द एडिशनल फीडबैक पाथ वी हैव एडिशनल कंपोनेंट्स व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी यूज्ड so the system designing will become complex and we the system become costly then the feedback 
may lead to oscillations. Because when we increase the input, we increase the output. When we decrease the input, we decrease the output. So on the basis of error, your system may have a oscillatory response because it will be continuously changing the input in the system. Then feedback will reduce overall gain. Because we are using error signal, so the gain of the system, total gain of the system will be reduced because it will be generally a negative feedback which we are usually. And then stability is an issue. We will discuss these disadvantages in detail, how these will be affected by the system and how a system with feedback will be having a less stable system. We will discuss in detail when we are discussing effect of feedback on the system. So we will take it later. You just analyze that the system will become unstable when we are using feedback. So stability is the major problem in the closed loop control system. So now we will be taking some advantage, examples of this. First example we are taking is a heating system. So first we discuss a heating system which is open loop and then we will be discussing a heating system which will be having a closed loop. That means a temperature control system broadly seen. So when we are talking about temperature control system, First, we have input, which we set temperature set point. You can take an example of air conditioner. We will be having a temperature set point. That means we will set a temperature. Then we will be having a potentiometer which will increase or decrease the system. And we generate a signal that is ER, error signal. Then we have a power amplifier. And then we have heater. And then we will be having chamber heating process. And then we will be getting the output as theta. That is chamber temperature. Heater will produce the input power. So this is the example of a heating system which is having open loop temperature control system. So we have a chamber for which we want to control the temperature. So we are connecting a heater before it and then we will be having a controlling system which will be a power amplifier and potentiometer. So we set a temperature on the basis of this, the potentiometer will set the temperature 
and it will decide what power we require electric power which will be feeding to the system then because the power output of a potentiometer will be low we have power amplifier which will increase the power and then it will be feeded to the heater heater will heat the coils and then that will be feeded to the chambers where we will be getting the chamber temperature so this is the example of a closed loop temperature control system so then if we want to convert this system into a closed loop control system we require that we will be having a feedback mechanism in the system so we will be connecting a temperature sensor in the this and then this temperature sensor will be applied to the system so this will become we have same temperature set point then we have potentiometer that will keep the standard er and then we have a comparator which will generate a error voltage then we have voltage amplifier this voltage amplifier is then feed to the power amplifier this power amplifier output is given to the heater and this will be given to the process that is temperature heating process and then we will be getting theta as the output and because we have a closed loop control system now we will be having a temperature sensor which will be sensing the temperature and it will be generating a feedback signal eb that is compared with the system so this will become a closed loop control system that is a closed loop temperature control system so when we are comparing it with the previous it does not have any feedback now we have connected a temperature sensor and that temperature sensor will be generating a feedback signal and that feedback signal is compared with the output of the potentiometer which will be your reference input and then it will be generating a error voltage and because we have generated a error voltage we require that this error voltage will be amplified and then we have power amplifier which will be supplying the power to the heater and this heater will be heating a temperature of a chamber and that chamber of temperature will be your output so this is the closed loop control system for a heater any can student have any confusion in this sir fir ye pehla pehla block diagram open loop system ka hai ya ha ye open ka hai na
ऊपर वाला ओपन लूप है क्योंकि उसमें कोई फीडबैक हम प्रोवाइड नहीं कर रहे नीचे वाला क्लोज लूप है बिकॉज वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग ए फीडबैक इन दिस सिस्टम इसीलिए हमने जो याद जो पहले लिखा था तो हमने यहाँ प्लस माइनस लिखा था जो एर सिग्नल जनरेट होगा दैट विल बी रेफरेंस प्लस माइनस एर फीडबैक इट कैन बी पॉजिटिव फीडबैक और इट कैन बी नेगेटिव फीडबैक डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम वी आर यूजिंग एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंट्रोल वी आर यूजिंग कोई और जिसको कंफ्यूजन हो सेम वी कैन हैव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्रैफिक लाइट कंट्रोल सिस्टम तो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ए ओपन लुक ट्रेफिक लाइट सिस्टम वी विल बी सिंपली हैविंग ए टाइम सेट देन वी विल बी इट इन गिविंग इट टू ए टाइमर देन टाइमर विल बी जनरेटिंग ए सिग्नल विच विल बी फीडेड टू द लाइट and it will be on and off on the basis of this timer so this is a example of a closed loop control system so the traffic control by means of traffic signal operated on a time basis constitutes an open loop control system the sequence of control signal is based on the time slot given for each signal the time slot are decided based on the traffic study which we are done previously the system will not be measure the density of the traffic before giving the signal it gives the signal in sequence as per the setting irrespective of the actual traffic of the system since the time slot do not change according to the traffic density the system is an open loop control system this open loop traffic control system can be made as a closed loop control system if the time slot of the signal are based on the density of the traffic in the closed loop traffic control system the density of the traffic is measured on all the sides and the information is feed to the computer the timing of the control signal are decided by the computer based on the density of the traffic since the closed loop control system dynamically changes the timing the flow of vehicles will be better than in the open loop control system so when we are talking about traffic light control system this is a simple example we have a time set which will be feeded to the timer and this timer will be feeded to the lights for on and off and we have light on and off on the basis of the time set but when we want to make this as a closed loop we will be having a traffic density measurement unit so the traffic density measurement unit will be feedback as the feedback so we have set time and then we have this feedback then we will be having a computer which will be working on the basis of this and it will generate the timing sequence on the basis of the difference and then we will be having 
light. So this will be a example of a closed loop control system. So it is not necessary कि हम जो actual output हमें मिल रहा है उसी को हम feedback में दे इट कैन बी फीडबैक कैन बी एनी डिफरेंट क्वान्टिटी ऑल्सो तो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस फीडबैक वी विल बी कंपेरिंग विच सिग्नल टू बी ऑन एंड विच सिग्नल टू बी ऑफ एंड देन वी विल बी जनरेटिंग ए सिग्नल सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव ए वॉशिंग मशीन सो ए वॉशिंग मशीन विदाउट एनी क्लीनलीनेस मेजरिंग सिस्टम is an example of a open loop control system in this the soaking washing and rinsing in the washer operates on a time basis the machine on time is set based on some calculation the machine does not measure the output signal that is the cleanliness of the clothes once the set on time is over the machine will automatically stop Whatever may be level of cleanliness, कितना भी clean हुआ हो cloth, washing machine will stop when we will be working it in a open loop system. This system can be made closed loop control system if the level of cleanliness can be measured and compared with the desired cleanliness, that is reference input. and the difference is used to control the washing time of the machine to jab human ko hum agar is machine ke sath laga de samajhne ke liye hai human will be working as the cleanliness measuring device it will measure that your clothes will be clean or not and on the basis of that it will increase or decrease the operating time of the control system so this is how we will be operating a washing machine in open loop and in a closed loop so these are the some of the examples which we can understand how the closed loop control system and how the open loop control system is working so we can have washing machine then we have a water motor आपके घर में जो पानी ऊपर चढ़ाती है टंकी में तो वन इज द प्रीवियस एग्जांपल वी है वाटर मोटर जो ऑन कर दी जाती है और उसके बाद वो चलती रहती है चाहे टंकी भरी हो चाहे नहीं भरी हो नाउ वी हैव ए सेंसर्स व्हिच विल सेंस दैट हाउ मच द वाटर टैंक इज एम्प्टी एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट इट विल बी closing the washing machine sorry motor and stop the flow of water if the tank is full so that is an example of open loop and closed loop control system for that so we have many examples which we are operating in open loop and also in closed loop aur ye hamesha maan lena whenever there is a interference of human that system will become closed loop because that feedback work has been done by the human to wohi tanki jo pehle ye thi ki jaise hi pani bhar nikalna chalu hota hai hum ja ke switch ko off kar dete hain then also it is a closed loop but it is a manually controlled not automatic control to ye confusion mat lana ki automatic control hoga tabhi closed loop hoga मैनुअल कंट्रोल भी क्लोज लूप होता है तो वी हैव मेनी एग्जांपल्स वोल्टेज स्टेबिलिटी वोल्टेज स्टेबिलाईजर मैनुअल स्पीड कंट्रोल सिस्टम मिसाइल लॉन्चिंग सिस्टम रॉकेट लॉन्चिंग सिस्टम दे ऑल आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम तो नाउ what are the difference between open loop and closed loop
So when we are comparing the open loop and closed loop system, सबसे पहला output has no effect on input. And this is change in output effect the input. This is the basic difference between an open loop control system and closed loop control system. That in open loop control system, output has no effect on the input. But in closed loop control system, any change in the output will also change the input of the system. Then second, easy to design. Open loop, it is easy to design, but closed loop is complex. Then third, it is economical. less costly and it is costly because of the presence of feedback system. Because we have less components, it consumes less power it consumes more power because we have additional measuring equipments and converting equipments, comparators. So we have more power is consumed in the case of then in open loop, no feedback is present. We have feedback. Then in this, error detection. Not possible because we don't connect any measuring equipment. And in this error detection is possible. Then we have, these system are stable. Because when we once get the output, the system will become stable. And the presence of feedback may make the system unstable in some conditions. It is not always the system will become stable or unstable. In some condition, it will become unstable when we are using closed loop control system. Then we have a high density, sorry, high sensitivity to disturbance. Because we don't have any comparison with the output, so they are very sensitive to the disturbance. Any disturbances in the system will be sensitive to the output and because of the feedback they are very less sensitive then again inaccurate they are accurate then because less number of component 
easy design maintenance is easy hard maintenance is difficult then we have this system cannot sense the change it can sense the change and this gain increase and in this gain decrease so when we talking about open loop control system the open loop system are simple and economical they consume less power the open loop system are easier to construct because of the less number of components requirement stability is not a major problem in open loop control system the open loop system are inaccurate and unreliable the change in the output due to external disturbances are not corrected automatically so these are the open loop control system when we are talking about closed loop control system the closed loop system are complex and costly they consume more power the closed loop system are not easy to construct stability is a major problem the closed loop system are accurate and more reliable the changes in the output due to external disturbances are corrected automatically the feedback reduce the overall gain of the system and the feedback in the closed loop may lead to oscillatory response so these are the closed loop so these are open loop and closed loop differences what are difference between ha huh? सर ये रिकॉर्डिंग सर डाल दो एलएमएस पे ताकि सर एक बार रिपीट कर सके इन टॉपिक्स को डाल रहा हूँ एलएमएस वो मैंने कहा है बन जाएगा आजकल में डाल दूंगा आते ही ओके सर ओके बाय वी विल मेक इन नेक्स्ट क्लास